And it is for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championship. The team of the Ring of Honor World Television Champion, Dragon Lee. And Kenny King. The Octopus, Jonathan Gresham. And Jay Lethal. And here we go. Right into the figure four. Right into the figure four, and now LFI has two rope breaks. Between LFI and the foundation. That, that was, was a, a punch. That LFI was a, has been issued yeah. a warning for the use of a close fist. And it allows for the drop kick. It might have created an opening that Dragon Lee needs as he takes his body through the ropes that connects on lethal. Butterfly in the arms. Whoa! Nice. Butterfly power bomb. Two! Gresham drops down to one knee. Standing switch counter. Dragon Lee now one knee. Gresham. Lee. Gresham. Lee out in front and to the back. Gresham sends him down. Stops on the arm. Nice. One, two. The Maestro almost retains the titles. Lethal charging in. Oh, oh no! no! Lethal has taken out Amy Rose. Was oh, that a punch? God. Punched him. And they already used the punch, but the ref back was turned. No way! Two! Uh -uh. Wow! No! Yes. New champions! Yes. I am stunned! New champions! And it is for the Ring of Honor World Championship! Shane! Killer. Recent pins on Kenny King, Jay Lethal, Jay Briscoe looking to make it two weeks in a row, walking away with new gold here in Ring of Honor. El Toro Blanco, Rouge. Rouge Violence. turned down for oh. one. Oh, God. Cracking the skull. Did you see Shane Taylor's neck? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oh, jeez, this is what I was afraid of. This is exactly what I was worried about. Thank God. Thank God he's got a couple fingers in between the cords. Oh, my God. Yep. All four of us. Oh. oh. The boys give Shane a fair shot. Ooh. Wow. Taylor, Roosh. Ducks the right. Open hands from Roosh. Yep, you ain't there oh. you go. Oh. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Taylor! Marcus Garvey oh, no. Driver! Talk to me! Talk to me! Hook the leg! Whoa. Oh my! Whoa. Is that even a one count? You're the Mexican Super Saiyan! The more you beat this guy up! Oh. oh! That's bad positioning. Oh, oh no! Place. This is this is when it's bad. Oh. oh! And that was not that. I don't. No, he didn't. It, he wasn't trying to do. Wait, come wait on, man. Uh, hey, Kenny. No, 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 Kenny. Kenny, Kenny come Kenny, on, no, man. He told Kenny. me. He did Look, that's, hey, that's the best bruh. at Del Ring. Kenny. He's sitting. That's the beast He's of the sit. ring. Kenny. They told me. Kenny. That's what I'm talking about. Oh! What? Oh, God, he hit Jay Taylor. Do you understand me? And if you mess with the bull. No way. You get the horse! Oh, come on! No. Not like this! No. Not like this! No! no. Uh uh! Oh. I'm Quinn McKay and I've got a giant episode for you today because not only will I update you on everything going on in Ring of Honor, but we will close with a pure rules match between Joe Keys and the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. So stay tuned for that later on right here on Week by Week.
first, let's talk about the championship edition of ROH TV. It was a history-making episode as we saw the ROH World Tag Team Championships change hands and the ROH World Champion retain his title. El Toro Blanco Rouge was successful in his defense against Shane Taylor with help from fellow Ingobernable member and one half of the brand new tag team champions, Kenny King. We know the history between Shane and Kenny and what happened at the end of the match was absolutely heartbreaking, but more importantly so, disgusting. Here's post-match comments from the champion. I'm Quinn McKay backstage at Ring of Honor for our very special championship edition of television. And speaking of champions, we just watched Roosh retain over Shane Taylor, and I see Kenny King walking up on me right now. Kenny, typically you yell at me, but before you do that, can I just ask you a quick question? It's the question on everybody's mind, I think. Why? With the chair? Are you are you done asking me questions? I just have Stop to... asking me questions. Don't ask me any questions. You, goodbye. You just get it. It is my job. Did you did you believe? Did you think? Did you think for one second that I was gonna betray my familia? Did you think for one second, Shane Taylor, because I've taught you lesson after lesson, that I wasn't gonna teach you one more lesson? Don't trust anybody. Keep your head on a swivel, boy. La Foxion Ingobernable is my familia. So now, don't ask me no more questions. Let me introduce to you our champion. This is my daddy. My daddy. <laughs> y eso le va a pasar a cualquier perro que nos pongan enfrente. Taylor. Observaste bien quién es el champion and I continue to be the champion for a long time because I'm El Toro Blanco Rush and I'm here para desmadrar a todo llámese foundation llámese Taylor llámese whatever it doesn't matter right remember la facción ingobernable is the past the present and the future do you understand me I don't think so. Dos cosas, disciplina y humillación. Es la facción ingobernable. All right. And remember, nothing happens unless I say so, perros. No pasa nada. The Faction and Gobernable now hold the majority of the gold in Ring of Honor, although by questionable means. The fact is that they're currently the most dominant collection of individuals in the entire company. Let's hear from the brand new ROH Tag Team Champions immediately following their big win. I'm Quinn McKay backstage at Ring of Honor for this championship edition of Ring of Honor Television. And speaking of championships, we now have brand new Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, Dragon Lee, Kenny King. Ooh. Congratulations. Get lost, get lost, get lost. Pensaron. Nosotros no sabemos pure. Who is pure? Que es puro, hermano. Who's pure? Hey, hey, hey. Down here, down here. Do your job. You know who's pure? La facción ingobernable es pure. Pure champions. Yeah, we're I the champion you. now, we're my brother. We're going to do this. We all huh? we take the... We... <laughs> all my hard work has finally paid off. Yo, what this are you talking my... about? Yeah, yo, get do down. Shut up. What's wrong with you? Huh? This, man, James. Anyway. We win. We, we won, brother. Now let's go okay. show off. Let's go show our brother what we got. <laughs> yeah, okay? exactly. Ayuda me, por favor. No problem. Come on, brother. Ah, I'm tired, my brother. What's the foundation? Who is the next? Unfortunately, the foundation is falling short on their goal of purifying every division in ROH. They've lost the tag team championships, but they will not slow down and are focused on their ongoing mission. Jay Lethal has his shot this weekend, in fact, as our main event will see a four-corner survival that will earn the winner a shot at the ROH World Championship at ROH's 19th anniversary on Friday, March 26th on pay-per-view. It's Matt Taven versus Jay Lethal versus Jay Briscoe versus EC3, with the winner getting the next shot at ROH World Champion El Toro Blanco Rouge. Let's hear from the franchise now. And here we go. A big four-way to determine the number one contender for one of the most prestigious championships in the history of professional wrestling.
I'm talking about the Ring of Honor World Championship. Jay Briscoe, EC3, Matt Taven, what an opportunity we have. And in fact, this opportunity couldn't come at a better time because the foundation are on a course to right a wrong. We are restoring honor to this great company. And we can't do that unless we are the champions of every division so that we can purify it. Speaking of opportunities, this opportunity, whether you guys realize it or not, it's bigger than the four of us. This opportunity is bigger than me just becoming a three-time Ring of Honor World Champion. This opportunity is about change. This company will change. It's on a course already. The foundation is making sure of that. And brick by brick, we are rebuilding because wrestlers must prevail. There are rules. Wrestlers must prevail. It's the name of the game. Me becoming the Ring of Honor champion, sure, I want to say that I need to do it. I want to say that it's my destiny. It's this company's destiny. And it's going to happen because the foundation is rebuilding this company brick by frickin' brick. We recently saw EC3 return after being out of sight and off the grid for the last few months. Jay Briscoe was ready to focus on the tag titles once again with his brother Mark, but EC3 is back and distracted them boys once again, specifically Jay Briscoe. EC3 is on a mission to find out if honor is real, and he proved that some will put money over honor when he paid off the mercenary Flip Gordon to interfere, thus causing the Briscoes to lose their recent match with Kenny King and Dragon Lee. So let's hear from EC3 as he heads into his big four corner contenders match this weekend. To the victor go the spoils, a fatal four way to determine the number one contender for the Ring of Honor Championship four conflicting narratives with one singular purpose. To become champion. Is that what honor is? A championship, a title, an object, an accolade on your Wikipedia, or is honor more? Now these three men have tasted it. They have craved it. They desire it. They yearn for it. They challenge for it. They eat, breathe, live, and sleep for the Ring of Honor Championship. That is not purpose. That is addiction. How can you control your narrative if you allow something to control you? Taven, Lethal, Briscoe. Sometimes you can't tell people the truth. You have to show them. You have been warned. Jay Briscoe will finally be able to get his hands on EC3 with the possibility of getting a world title shot in the process and at EC3's expense. Let's hear from Jay now. You see, the thing about a match like this, when you got four guys in there, you don't got to get beat to lose. You got to be in the right place at the right time and I realize that and I'm ready to do what I got to do to make sure I give the people what they want to see. You see, no disrespect to the other three guys in this match, or well, maybe a little bit the narrative, boy. But what the people want to see, whether they realize it or not, is Roosh versus Jay Briscoe. So I'm fitting to give the people what they want. We know that both Taven and Vincent are not allowed to be in an ROH ring together. Ring of Honor officials are in the process of figuring out a scenario that will settle the score, yet alleviate the liabilities that both men bring with them when they're together. We know that Taven wants a match, and Vincent is avoiding the match. Funny enough, Vincent has put in an application for the World Championship Division rankings, but without complying to ROH requests and guidelines, Vincent's application has been denied. Matt Taven is in the rankings, however, and if he can win this weekend, he'll go on to face the man who defeated him for the most prestigious prize in all of wrestling. Let's hear from the trend now. It's been 16 months since I've held the Ring of Honor world title in my hands. 16 months ago, I would just unzip my bag and I would stare at a symbol that to me justified everything I've ever done in my career, justified everything I've ever done in my life. But for the last 16 months, I've been distracted. 
I've lost all focus because of some balloon boy who actually happens to be the very first person who congratulated me after I won that title in Madison Square Garden, but then stabbed me in the back as soon as I lost it. So maybe this ban from Ring of Honor is a good thing. Maybe the fact that Vinny is too much of a coward to agree to this match is exactly what I needed, because now I can focus on the only reason why I'm here. The only reason why any of us should be here is to be the Ring of Honor world champion. And if you don't understand that, then there's the door. Don't let it hit you in the ass on the way out. So right now I'm given a golden opportunity because I don't even have to use my championship rematch that I still have in my back pocket. Right now I'm one match away from getting back what's rightfully mine, what I truly believe would have never left my waist if I never got hurt. The sequel is coming and I promise every single one of you trendsetters that the purple rain will trend again. Because he is I and I am him and I'm Haven. Also on the upcoming edition of ROH TV, we'll see a Pure Rules rematch as Dalton Castle and Josh the Goods Woods square off once again. Dalton requested this match after Josh defeated him in their first encounter. Dalton is desperate to be ranked and defeating Josh will put him right where he wants to be. So let's take a closer look now. Uh, this, this is going to be another fast one, okay? That's okay, just quick, right? All right. <sighs> I, yeah, I, I lost to Josh Woods. There we are. What do you think? You think I'm thinking about it all the time? I'm not. I've, I, I mean, it's one of the many things that's running through my mind. I've got a lot going on. I'm busy. And this one, it, it stings a little bit. Like, it's really sticking out in my head. And uh, Josh seemed to have he found a hole in my offense. And it was, it was a mistake, a minor mistake. And it led to a, a, a very, very big consequence. Now, we don't got to go into too much detail about it, but uh, this, what does this mean for me now? Uh, it's just a, another blemish on my record. I mean, that's not surprising. It's kind of been a pattern over the last couple of years. What does that mean for me here in Ring of Honor? I mean, wh where do I fit in? I mean, when you look at the, the rankings and the leaderboards, you go up and down, and there's all these funny names on there. Not one of them spells Dalton Castle. And that's a problem. That's a big problem, because I, I am better than this. All right, I am better than Josh Woods. I am better than everybody in those rankings. I'm a former world champion. I, I dance like the rain, and I walk like a champion. But every time I get in the ring, the results don't, don't come out the way that they should. And, that's why we're having this match with Josh again, and it's a big deal to correct what happened in the past. Josh beat me. Yeah. I mean, the guy's a horse, right? I get in there with a wild animal, and maybe he's gonna get a lucky shot, or he's gonna find an opening, but now I've got tape on the guy. I know exactly how he beat me. He saw the one hole that I forgot to close. I'm just gonna close the hole. That's all it is. I got other things going on in my life, I mean, maybe that's distracting me, but it doesn't, it, it's not like I, I don't care about this. I mean, I look at how I'm dropping off the leaderboard. I look at how uh, that maybe, I don't know, maybe they're gonna wonder, why are we keeping this guy around anymore? You made me fail. And I am so sick of failing all the time. What does this mean for me here in Ring of Honor? I mean, when you look at the big picture in the rankings, where, where do I land on that board? In the TV title, in the peer division, in the world title? Probably nowhere if I keep losing like this, but I'm not gonna, because I know I can beat Josh. I know I can. I am, <laughs> I am good. No, 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 I am great. And Josh, he's good. But I am the better pro wrestler. I know how to beat Josh Woods. And if I can't beat Josh Woods, Maybe I don't belong here. If I don't beat Josh Woods with the plan I got in my head, I'm out. Traps him in the clover leaf! Body scissors! That's it, that's it. Well, what can you say, man? You, you beat a, a former world champion and they want another round. Like, 
Well, why not? What, that's not gonna hurt me. That, that's exciting, that's awesome. I mean, I, I, I pinned Jay Lethal, right? I submitted Dalton Castle and he wants more? There's no reason to, to deny his request for this match. Could some people say beating Dalton is a fluke? Who would say that? No, man, I, I, I clearly submitted him. There was, there was nothing he could do to stop it. There was nothing he could do to get out of that. It wasn't a, a circumstance. It wasn't a, a, a by accident type of thing. All right, that's just, that's just the skill set I bring. Very different than everybody else on this roster. Very different from everybody else in the pure division. I mean, I can submit people from anywhere, standing, sitting, outside, inside, on a rope, upside down, my eyes closed. That's just what I do. Dalton has this lingering back issue. And I did the honorable thing. I didn't attack it right away. I didn't single it out. But if you think about what we do, we put our bodies on the line every day. Anytime we step out in the ring, it's a 50-50 chance you may not come back, right? That's the reality of wrestling. No one ever feels 100%. I don't ever feel 100%. So do I think Dalton having a, a lingering injury helped me beat him? No, not at all. I don't feel good all the time. So would I say the same? I wouldn't use that as an excuse if Dalton had beat me. Hey man, uh, you know, I, I don't feel good today. So. No, you, you know what you're doing when you step in the ring. You're a professional. We're professionals. So to, for, for that to even come into play is potentially why I beat him. No, that, that's definitely not on the list of reasons why I beat Dalton. This past year alone, I pinned Jay Briscoe. I pinned Jay Lethal. I recently just submitted Dalton Castle. Beating Dalton Castle for a second time, that gives me momentum to face Jonathan Gresham. An opportunity I don't deserve, an opportunity I earned to look Jonathan Gresham in the eye and confidently tell him, I am going to be the next Ring of Honor Pure Champion. We are running out of time, so let's do this quick. The X-Files is a weekly article delivering breaking news on a constant basis on ROHWrestling.com, and the latest edition of the ROH Strong Podcast, hosted by Kevin Eck, is special guest, the Ace of Space, LSG. I'm sure that we can expect big things from LSG going forward, and you can even check out his merchandise and the merch of all of your favorite wrestlers. That's right, ShopHonor.com is the mobile-friendly ROH store that's turning ordinary online shopping into an immersive experience. Shirts, collectibles, micro brawlers, so cute, they're little tiny people, and so much more. Check it out. And of course, the ROH 19th anniversary will take place on pay-per-view on Friday, March 26th. Share your thoughts and opinions about all things ROH in our Facebook group and hashtag Choose your honor. We are always listening. Plus, the hashtag WatchROH Twitter Watch Party is every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. And before we get to this week's exclusive week by week match, I have another exclusive match to announce for next week right here on Week by Week. We'll see Tracy Williams versus LSG versus Bandito in an elimination three way. This will have big implications on the ROH television division rankings. And speaking of rankings, let's run down those right now and stick around after that for Joe Keys versus. Dak Draper, Pure Rules. Should be great. Like and subscribe and hit that little bell to stay up to date on all things Ring of Honor. I'm Quinn McKay, and I'll see you next week on Week by Week. Drive him yeah. down! You could knock him slam. He's out. He's out cold. Two, three! Yeah, he's out cold. Kyle Driver! Yeah, that'll do it right there, Rick Abani. Cover! That's it. Two! Yeah. Three! Mm. Wow. Yeah. The winner of this match, Hot Sauce, Tracy Williams! to the apron. PCO wow. sends Lethal to the outside. Oh no, he sent Frisco out. One, By himself. Two, that's it. Gresham and Lethal retain.
My castle castle has him up. Bangarang! Bangarang! No! Oh, my woods! Woods has him! Traps him in the clover leaf! Body scissors! That's it, that's it! Woods lock does it! Wow! Welcome everyone to this ROH week by week exclusive here at the UMBC Arena and Event Center here in Baltimore, Maryland. Ian Riccoboni, Will Ferrara, Jonathan Gresham, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion on the call for this one. And we have an exclusive bout coming your way. Exclusive match. It will be contested under pure That's wrestling rules. Set for one fall with a 15 minute Draper time shirts, limit. You'll be looking almost as good as Dak Draper himself. Approaching the ring, wrestling out of Denver, Colorado, weight 251 pounds, the Mile High Magnum, Dak Draper. Well, the board of directors said you can only be in one division. Dak Draper, formerly in the TV division, now in the pure division. I guess there's no rules against two shirts. Did, you, did anybody else <laughs> notice that? Uh, yeah, I did. He took off a shirt to reveal a shirt, but Dak Draper, who is 1-0 in pure competition before entering the rankings, defeating Brian Johnson. Both were alternates for the tournament. Going against the man who was in the top three, who earned his shot at Jonathan Gresham's Pure Championship, looking to climb back up the rankings. His opponent, wrestling at the ROH Dojo. Weighing 211 pounds, Joe Keys. Look at the eyes of Joe Keys right there. He's determined. I feel like he is the best he's ever been. He's on a roll. He's on a roll. Gresham, he had a hell of a match with you, and I think he has what it takes to beat the Mile High Magnum. I definitely think so. You see, Keys comes into these situations with a strategy. Dak, I think he's going to let his attitude get in the way, his temper get in the way. And Keys, as long as he stays true to whatever he's going for. Well, let's take a look at his. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape, and we take a look at the rankings. And we see the code of honor adhered to. And it's almost like there was a clear delineation of the quote unquote old Ring of Honor dojo and kind of the new system. You said Dak Draper came up through the dojo, was there kind of at the same time, but he's decided to go on his own path, let his head and his ego kind of take him in his own direction. Joe Key's staying very close to the tutelage of yourself, Will, and of Drought Aggression. Yeah, you know, Dak Draper, he won the top prospect tournament last year. And he had a TV title shot. He was in that division. So we tried to create opportunities for the other students. We created this. You know, but the pure division was perfect for them. But then it seems like Dak Draper, he wanted a handout too. And don't get me wrong, Dak Draper is a hell of an athlete. He's super talented. But compared to the other guys at the dojo, he only cares about himself. A guy like Joe Keys, he's someone you could put in the position of team captain. He looks out for everyone. He has that awesome diving ah! headbutt. He's got that great half crab. And his rope break number one is by Joe Key. Oh, wow. Of course. There you go. He couldn't hang with him on the mat there, so he had to go low. Front face lock here. We have Dak Draper undefeated in the pure division, albeit 1-0 against Joe Keys, who won a pure gauntlet. And of course, for those just joining us, the pure rules are simple. You get three rope breaks. If you exhaust all of those, your opponent can pin or submit you in the ropes. A 20 count on the outside. Outside interference results in termination for Ring of Honor. And of course, these bouts have a 15-minute time limit. If the time limit is exhausted, it goes to the judges, Gary Juster, Will Ferrara, and Sumi Sakai. Got to be impartial for this one. Both former students of mine. Keeping that uh, low center of gravity on that suplex. Off the ropes, Keys. Gut wrenched by Draper. And Keys in the ropes. That was slick. Yeah, does not use the ropes to break it, though. Well, that's smart. He caught the leg. Oh, oh! OK, so we see what he's targeting now. Keys has a target on that left leg. 
Trying to chop now the tree down. he stays on it here. Chopping him down. Ah. Oh! And into the ropes. And Draper seems to have a game plan, too. It looks like he's trying to get Keys near the ropes. Maybe to yeah. subliminally get him to use the rope breaks. Oh, high cross body, both men to the outside. Ah. If there's an advantage available, you know Dak Draper's going to want to take it. Exactly. His game plan now has to be to keep the guy in the ropes or on the map, because that's where he's good at. He's a grinder. He will grind you. Two count there for Dak Draper. He can't let Joe get, uh, get to his feet, because if he does, he's really explosive. And that's where he works best, on his feet. Oh, so no. he's got to keep him on the ground for now. This is where I Joe, like Joe Keys. Now Joe Keys explosive. He needs to drop those hips if he wants to throw around a guy the size of Dak. Can't do that from the ground. And Personally, I don't think he should be going for a throw. Stick oh, to the tech. Keys Stick to the leg. Keys going to the ropes again. That is rope break number two used by Joe wow. Keys. Wow. That's OK. Two rope breaks, gets a third. Draper can do whatever he wants in or under the ropes. Doesn't and feel very good. When someone sticks their knee in your gut, huh? So that was a receipt for last time, huh? <laughs> and what's interesting with Draper, we're talking about the ego, we're talking about him being driven by his own uh, his own mind, but he has an amateur background. He was one win away from a, from a national championship in college. I mean, this is a guy who has the amateur credentials, but hasn't applied them, so to speak in Ring of Honor, and, and maybe he took this as a now. challenge that he wasn't listed in the rankings. Maybe that got to him under his skin a little bit. You can tell. Really going after the ribs here. You know, Dak Draper, he's a smart guy. He knows that you need to breathe. This is pure wrestling. you got to have the win for it. And you can't do that when you get kneed in the ribs on that many times. I mean, it's a perfect strategy with, with Keys being so explosive. If you take the win out of him, you can't, you can't do it. He can't be explosive now. He's sucking wind. And going right back to these gut wrenches, these body locks, and just, just letting him hang. There's forcing going him back to the leg. Yeah, forcing Santec Keys to use his breath and going right under that knee, yeah. See, a lot of people don't understand those gut reach, those gut reach suplexes, those throws. They're, they're squeezing the air out of you as he's pulling you out. So perfect technique for a strategy right now. Got to give a lot of t credit to Dak Draper. I have my head on points right now, even catching. Keys now has him up, has him around, slams him down onto the shoulder. Hooks the leg. Two. Good job. Had to kick out there, nowhere near the ropes, and Good he's job. already used two of them. Good job. One of the things with Keys, he was looking for an open hand earlier, but one of the rules we didn't touch upon, if you use a closed fist, it's a warning. If you use two, you're out, you're disqualified. Another nice wrinkle to the peer division. You know, as a judge perspective, anytime I do see a closed fist, that's minus points. These are pure rules. We don't need that here. Flip Gordon even kicked out of the pure division for flagrant use of the closed fist. And here again, the gut wrench, that body lock. Yes, he's squeezing it. Five minutes elapsed time. Ten oh, minutes adding in. more torque. This is very, he's very trying smart. Trying to grab onto the knee there to use that momentum against Dak, but it wasn't enough. That's right. Create distance, Joe. Get out of the ring. There's nothing wrong with that. Take your time. Breathe. Interesting look for Draper. You don't see very many Yo. six foot five, six foot six men. Wrestle. What are you doing outside of the ring? With this technical, methodical, and really great mental strategy that he's got going on. It's working for him now, for sure. And again, back to that solar plexus, the obliques. Is he going for it again? Uh -huh. Has him up over shoulder, Hungarian backbreaker. And Key's trying to break free the hands. He does, slips out of it as the arms trap. He switches his arms now. He can get back for a backslide. Back for that backslide. Oh, oh he's using the nice, leg. That was nice. smart. Yes, Slides him down. Smart. Two. Just a two count there. Come on, Joe. Stay on him. Keys with a big European uppercut. Staggers Dak Draper. Now, Dak's leg must be hurt. He's trying not to show Joe, trying to not to give him that opening again. Joe, now, out to the back. apron. May have tweaked the knee a little bit on the landing. And it's Keys going oh. right back to it, using the ropes Very to his advantage. Smart. Very smart. Nice. I really like the game that these two are trying to play. This is a game of chest. And Draper oh. pops him up, catches him. Did you catch that, guys? His knee went out. Oh, it, oh yeah, you're right. Could have hit the Magnum KO right there. I think he would have if his knee wasn't bothering him yeah, like his this. his knee buckled before that clothesline. Did you see that? That would have been over. And now the springboard doesn't oh. catch all of it, and Keys plants him, using his own momentum. If he had a little more torque from the knee, he would have got higher. Instead, Keys able to catch and plant him. And now Dude. it's Keys. Wow. There's that Draper. explosiveness I'm talking about right there. 
Oh, nice. Head straight for down. You got to pin him, Joe. Harder, Joe. Now, Joe wants to finish this strong. He I think he's going to go to the top for his flying headbutt. Loves that flying headbutt from the top. Joe Keys looking to end things here. Move back up the pure ranks. Back into contention for Jonathan Gresham's pure championship. Joe Keyes. Oh. Nobody home. Man, I wish he would have went for that, that pin after that lariat. Took too much time. Maybe something to review on the game tape back at the dojo. Draper connects with the boot. And really having to fight Keys off the ropes again. The gut wrench has him up. Oh. Dr. Bomb. Big Dr. Oh, One, man, this is it. Two. Oh, Key is able to sneak that shoulder out. He's a fighter. He's definitely a fighter. Come on, Joe. As a trainer, I am proud of both of these guys. They are putting it all out on the line here tonight. Dak wants to move up to pure ranks, and Joe Keys, he don't want to move out of it. You got too much See, time. You know, I'm really surprised. Dak's been pretty clean this entire time. Yeah. Oh, going right back for that knee. Ow. Yeah, and Keys using two rope breaks. Oh. Now I got to hurt you. Dak with none, no close fist yet. Open hand across the jaw, perfectly legal. And Dak using the leverage of those very long legs. Oh, wait a minute. Stretch muffler. He's been calling this the mile high muffler. Right. And he has keys hung. And he gets him to submit. What a impressive. The winner of this match by very submission, impressive. Dak Draper. And Dak Draper who's going to have to start from the bottom once you put your application in. Keys, who had a very valiant fight against Gresham for the title. Two men looking to claw back into the rankings. It's Dak Draper, your victor here. Gresham, you got, you said very impressive. You got to like what you saw. He fought a clean match. I'm very impressed. He did, he did fight a clean match. A really good match. He didn't use any rope breaks against Joe Keys. I'm very, what, very What's he impressed. doing now? Don't tell me these are those damn participation medals or ribbons. Is this a thing? Let's hopefully you'll tell your family about it. It's probably the best day of your life. Now, these are former oh, they trained on. together. They've known each other for years. That's just disrespectful on Dak. Oh, you wrestle man. a match like that, you end it like this, really. Yeah, yeah. Dak Draper, 2-0 <laughs> in the pure division, moving into the ranks here on Week by Week. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I know you hate to see me leave. If I was you. I would hate to see me leave too, but unfortunately I gotta go.